Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, let's grill up some fun and make pretend juicy burgers, fantastical fries, and crazy condiments. Why stop there? Let's also make make-believe sushi and so much more. Let's test out this kit and see if it's a recipe for success. Let's go. This is the store for our bashawat. With this set, you can create consistent, uniform burgers, fried chicken pieces, french fries, and sushi in your pretend restaurant and save on food costs in the process with these easy-to-clean molds. Its construction ensures durable performance and is designed for quick, easy operation. This mold is easy to clean and maintain. Intricate detailing makes it look realistic and entertaining, as you will see later on. It costs how much, you ask? Well, let me show you 10 reals here. Now, this comes with the magic clay, which is very easy to work with. It's super stretchy and kind of reminds me of bubblegum taffy. It is scentless and does not leave a weird residue on your hands. With this clay set, you will never have to worry about causing any kind of mess. Now, they do provide the clays with this set, but I was not sure about the colors. So just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and bought additional colored clay. Bought some extra clay of all colors. This is also from Bashawat. This was also 10 reals. At the back of the box, it shows you what things are included. So development of the child's imagination and creativity. Let's play together. Accessories, we have the tablecloths. Ew, I should be expecting like two of them. Uh, we have this roller thing, knife, fork, spoon. Two molds to make our food, two plates three packets of clay and then two um, containers, plastic containers to put the clay in for later use. Okay, these bright colors still can be used either on their own or blended together. Oh, so these clays, you can mix them to make different colors and they've, they've shown you some matching lists where you can uh, combine different clay colors to make a new one. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, enough chitter chatter. On to the opening. Okay, let's. So we have the roller, the knife, spoon, fork. We have the two plastic containers. We have the tablecloth. I thought they said cloths. And it's not cloth, it's paper. So, table with paper. Two plates. And then we have two molds. One is for sushi uh, strictly, and then one is for the the junk food, which is the burger, the chicken, fried chicken, the fries. Let's start. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to use these clay series and see. I hope you're not sticking all that stuff. Wow, so many colors. <gasps> Uh, I love it. I love the rainbow stuff. Oh. They're in another plastic. Oh, God. No wonder. Why is it so shiny? Yay. So I got my yellow. Let's make french fries. Ah! Okay. Should not be doing that. So to give texture to the fried chicken, just take a toothpick or a barbecue skewer and just pick at it. This way you can make the texture that you see on the chicken. And the burger has the sesame seeds. I made blue pickles 
cheese slice, tomatoes, lettuce, patty, and the lower bun. Side of fries, a swirl of ketchup, and I also made a taco. Let's give them something to talk about, talk about. You said exercise? I thought you said extra fries. But I'm gonna this. So let's make the sushi. Come out, fishy. See how easily it comes out? Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Did you see that? That came out so pretty. So this is our final sushi plate. And you can see it's, the mold came out really nice. The sushi design they have looks really good. Ours look nothing like it. I think it's like we did different molds and then you're supposed to put them together. So everyone, we have the two dishes ready. The burger, fries, chicken, and the sushi plate. You can see like the different textures. I put it over a, I put it over rice to represent the white clay. We have the different things here. So um, you make the sushi elements and then you put them together to make your sushi dishes. This way you can be really creative, create your own designs, and then have it all ready. So another thing is that on top of these uh, plastic containers, you also have like these this, these molds here. You have a duck and a dinosaur. So I think these are like for stamping. Let's do the stamping thing. If I put like, if I put a small amount, That's pretty cool. I really like this the stamp thing. You can use it like this. Okay, the other one was a duck. Pretty non-threatening. So let's use... Just even out the ball. Place it in the middle. I use the mold with the container. It's going to give you an easier time lifting it off. Stamp it like this. Quack, quack. Countless interactions and scenarios spontaneously spring up with these clay dough tools are on hand, allowing time well spent with loved ones, family and friends to delight in creativity while exploring life's possibilities through imaginative play. Now here it says it's non-stick, non-greasy. Okay, that's good. Um, 36 plus months. Close enough. Now we have some molds and they're telling you what kind of help the kids will get with using these kind of toys. It's right here. So social cooperation, vision training, and then sense of touching, developing children's senses of touching and feeling. And then what's this? Strength and color. And I love that the, these have like really detailed instructions for how to keep every age group busy. And they also tell you like how to give textures. You know like how the fried chicken has texture? Like it, it looks like fried chicken. It's because they're telling you to poke it with toothpicks. So they're telling you you can be so creative with this by using different tools as well that are already in your house. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fizz.
Bye! Just a little thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!